<laughs> oh my God, I got, I got so many. You know, I have so many, I can't. Yeah, hi. Hi, um, I think I read an article that said if you were going to do like a reality show, you uh -huh. wanted to do something like turning Hawaii green. Yeah, uh-huh, I am into it. What are your, some of your ideas, just a few? For I mean, green? Yeah. Just like, you I know. Mean, other than the obvious, like, you know, recycling and things like that. A planting organic stuff, you know, getting rid of stuff that is not native and that's like, you wouldn't believe, like, Hawaii is really just, you know, I'm sure no one's interested. But <laughs> Hawaii is like a battleground. It's a battleground there, and that's kind of why I went there because it's like, you know, if you know anything about Monsanto and. Like they're trying to get rid of organic seeds and they're trying to like make all these fake plastic foods so that, you know, and and it's on the island of Hawaii where that battle is, like that's the spearhead of the battle for like heirloom seeds versus genetically altered seeds. And that's why I'm over there because I'm going to fight. Because I, I don't like that they're turning everything plastic and I, I don't think we're cyborgs. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Obviously. Hello. Hi. 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 Yes. What do you live in Hawaii? Not here. <laughs> I live in the rainforest. Yeah. Saying you look absolutely gorgeous. Aren't you nice? You need to have your eyes examined, but thank you. Thank you. You're sweet. Thank you. You're very nice. What, what do you do to, to look so good? I smoke a lot of medicinal marijuana. <laughs> of hemp so that we can have cheap fuel, talk about green, fuel, housing, uh, food, clothing uh, for pennies. And I, I want them to give women back hemp because as soon as they took hemp out of women's hand, this world went to shit. <laughs> and of course legalizing marijuana too, which is so good for women rather than these drugs that these pharmaceuticals are given that eat out your liver and destroy your brain cells so that you become very right wing. <laughs> not good. I'm not good. Yes. Person in the How house. How did you get your start? Uh, well, there's little children here, so I can't. <laughs> in a comedy club in Denver. <laughs> no, you don't get nothing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look. Well, I interviewed um, recently your. Um, it's not about you. No, no, Dilla Bonds one time. <laughs> huh? The Dilla Bonds, the author, um, that was on your show with Dilla Bonds, who played your friend. Oh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Do you still keep in contact with her? No, I haven't seen her for a while. Because Dilla thinks still highly of you. I think highly of her too, and if you see her, say, hey, call me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your number? <laughs> Well, you can reach me at RoseanneWorld.com, go over there, register, and private PM me, it's called pr private personal message or something, and I'll get back to you. Yeah, sir. Roseanne, I want to thank you, first of all, for everything you did for the GLBT community. I'm oh, very glad you're in Atlanta. Thanks, thanks. I like it. I wanted to know, um, where you got the courage and the foresight way back then to push this uh, GLBT in people's faces? and let them see that it was okay. I mean, that was a remarkable job. I'm I did, and I'm very proud that I did it. And I did it because I have, you know, I always say I have a gay, a gay brother and a lesbian sister who I always saw what happened to them growing up there in Salt Lake City, Utah, very right. When my brother had his nose broken nine times by the time he was nine years old, you know, and of course they always had their re other reasons, but we knew what it was. and. Uh, you know, I just always knew it was so wrong. It really pissed me off. And so, um, you know, I, I just really got off and like, man, I, I could really save something. Well, thank you. It was cool. Thanks. Yes, ma'am, and then we'll start signing. Hi. Okay. Top three tips for getting free menopause. Huh? Top three tips for getting free menopause. Oh, my God. Well, Nobody well, knows how well, hard well, it well, is. Well, it's, are you going through it? It's very hard, isn't it? Um, well, I, I just, I think meditation is the thing that helped me most. Stay calm. Don't, don't pick up that axe and kill that family. <laughs> you know, like really wanting to. Try to center and meditate and get to some peace inside. And I think that just know that your body's turning on you and you're going to be dead soon. <laughs> I can get 
that hot cross master hand. Hi. We want to know your thoughts on if you could sing the national anthem for us. Oh, <laughs> well, I would if I had, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, tone harp? I could start in the right key for a change. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh-huh, one more. Who's one more? Make it a good one. What's, Make it a good one. What's next for you? What's your next project? Run for president. Oh, yes. Well, I am, I am running for president of these United States plus Prime Minister of Israel. And that is because, as you will note when you read uh, Roseanne Archie, I have chucked it full of solutions for modern life and for saving the world for bringing people together and like getting into a new paradigm where we like go, hey, wait a minute, that's a problem and that means I could, that means that we could solve it. That's a whole new concept, especially here, because we're like, oh, let's see, how can I manipulate this so I can make some money off this problem? Our leaders are blowing someone. But um, no, I mean, I just, uh, I'm into solutions. I know I know a lot of people that just live normal lives like y'all, you know, living a normal life. You probably have some solutions to problems in the world, and I just encourage you to write them and uh, get them out there. Let's see them. It's time we uh, turn in that direction, I think. Okay.